Have you ever wondered just how big our solar system really is? It's a question that leaves many of us awestruck as we try to wrap our minds around the sheer magnitude of it all. The solar system's size is so immense, so vast, that it's nearly impossible for us to truly comprehend. So let's try to visualize it. Imagine, if you will, that the sun is a basketball. Now, in comparison to this basketball-sized sun, the Earth would be nothing more than a grain of sand. Tiny, isn't it? This analogy gives a sense of the stark difference in size between the sun and our home planet. But what about the distance between them? That's another story. Picture a 100-meter dash. That's how far our grain of sand Earth would be from the basketball sun. Quite a distance, right? So, if the sun is a basketball, the Earth is a grain of sand, and they are 100 meters apart. That's just the start of our journey. Now imagine we're beginning a cosmic journey starting from the sun. Picture the sun as a massive, fiery basketball radiating light and warmth in every direction. First stop, Mercury, a tiny pepper grain-sized planet closest to our basketball sun. Imagine the distance between them as about the length of a soccer field. Next, we have Venus. It's about the size of a marble, a little larger than our pepper grain Mercury. The distance from Venus to the Sun is roughly two soccer fields away, and then we come to our home, Earth. Surprisingly, it's also the size of a marble, just like Venus. But from our basketball Sun, it's about two and a half soccer fields away. Moving along, we encounter Mars. This planet is like a cherry tomato, smaller than Earth and Venus. It's situated approximately three soccer fields away from the Sun. Our next stop is the giant of our solar system, Jupiter, roughly the size of a grapefruit. It's so massive that you could fit more than 1,000 Earth-sized marbles inside it. From our basketball Sun, Jupiter is a massive 20 soccer fields away. Now imagine Saturn, another grapefruit-sized planet, but with a ring. Its distance from the Sun? A whopping 30 soccer fields. On to Uranus and Neptune, both about the size of an apple, significantly smaller than Jupiter and Saturn, but still much larger than our marble Earth. From the Sun, Uranus is around 60 soccer fields away, and Neptune, the last planet in our journey, is a staggering 90 soccer fields away. So we've gone from a basketball-sized Sun past a grain of sand Mercury, a marble Venus, another marble Earth, a cherry tomato Mars, and a grapefruit Jupiter, all the way to an apple-sized Uranus and Neptune, but our journey is far from over. But what lies beyond the planets? Well, let's take a moment to consider the sheer scale of our solar system. As we leave the confines of the planets and venture further out, we approach the outer edges of this celestial neighborhood. It's a journey that takes us into the realms of the extraordinary, where distances are so vast they boggle the mind. Imagine, if you will, that you could walk around the Earth. Quite a feat, isn't it? That's a journey of about 40,000 kilometers. Now, let's use that as our yardstick for understanding the enormity of our solar system. As we journey away from the planets, we first encounter the Kuiper Belt, a region of space filled with icy bodies, starting at Neptune's orbit and extending outwards. This is about 150 times the distance around the Earth. But we're not stopping there. Far beyond the Kuiper Belt, at a staggering 500,000 times the distance around the Earth, lies the Oort Cloud. This immense, spherical cloud of icy bodies marks the boundary of our solar system. It's so far away that light from our sun takes more than a year to reach it. Imagine running a marathon, that's a grueling race of just over 42 kilometers. Now, if we were to compare the solar system to that marathon, our sun would be the size of a basketball at the starting line, and the Oort cloud would be at the finish line. It's difficult to truly grasp these distances. They're immense, almost beyond human comprehension, but they give us a sense of our place in the cosmos, highlighting the vastness of the universe and the tiny corner we occupy within it. So our cosmic journey ends at the Oort Cloud, a marathon's distance away from our basketball-sized sun. It's a vast, incomprehensible size, isn't it?